All right, kids, I'm going to do a quick little video on uh, Tor. Now, here, of course, is my Linux desktop, and if I open it up, if you look right here, I have an onion. This onion is the Tor button plugin for Firefox. Uh, you have to separately get that one, but in your repository is the other parts. It's Tor and a program called Vidalia, I think it is. You run Vidalia. It automatically connects to the Tor network. Give it a second. It takes a few seconds to authenticate. Now, the b benefit of Tor is it does its best to make you as anonymous as possible. The downside is because it's a distributed network, you do get a serious performance hit. So if you're worried about speed over security, this is not for you. But if you want security over anything, this is the best way to go. Once this uh, the Vidalia control panel is running, go ahead and hit hide. It stays up here in the in your taskbar here, and then you can click the Tor button here. Toggle status. This turns it on. Once it's on, hopefully, if, if as long as your network's running smoothly, which I think I'm running fairly smoothly, you should be able to go to different websites and have Tor take over. Let's go to Reddit. And again performance is really suffering here but the nice thing is if you are in a part of the world where you can't get access to the internet because things are blocked you know like a, the great firewall of China and whatnot with this you can have fairly um, unblock listed you know internet access anywhere and the best part about this is they actually have uh, Tor type applications for Android now. This is the Guardian Project. The Guardian Project is a series of open source applications made for the Android operating system based around the same kind of security and principles they were found in both the Tor Project and um, off the record uh, messaging and such like that. A lot of the projects are in various stages of completion and development but uh, Within the next few years, you should see a lot of really good innovation coming from these guys. And, of course, like I said before, all these tools are completely open source, which is awesome. So good luck with the privacy, guys. Keep safe. And remember, um, keep changing them passwords. All right, kids. Peace.